We'll play. We'll see. <clears throat> Kill the coward Templar then, Captain. <coughs> Where was that? Okay. I need back... I need this. Oh, it's a novel way to get about, I suppose. You cannot pass these prices by. Stop, have a look. I promise. I it's just called running. I have arranged for my son to <laughs> Who leaves all these boxes around for me to loot? The curious display. There's the box. <coughs> they are a gangrenous curse, slowly spreading and corrupting. Scatter. <coughs> Follow me. Oops. Catching up. Never mind. this thing with the key. <clears throat> you held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of tending to crusades. And creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the apple corrupted you. And through you, it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Mm hmm. Masif 1191, Altair 26. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer. Just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. The Mentor's awake. Altair has killed his mentor Al-Mualim Al for betraying the assassins. Make sure Al-Mualim is truly dead. 
that your systems understand why. Do not lose more than three synchronization points. What? Are you fit to travel? Well enough, yes. I asked Malik to ride to Jerusalem with news of Al-Mulim's death. What happened? Would you ride to Acre and do the same? Of course. What is happening? Get out of the way. How did it come to this? My mind was clear, but my body... It would not move. Was our mentor the cause of this confusion? Yes. I do not believe this. Al what has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting, I will talk. Until you are satisfied. <laughs> Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert de Saab? Al Mualim. Records for this man don't go back much further than 1176 CE, right around the time the assassin's confrontation with the Sar Saracen general Saladin. I'd wager Al Mualim was in his late 40s at the time, but it's hard to say. In any event, Al Mualim was an accomplished assassin and feared leader. <clears throat> Calm but commanding, he led his group of assassins into one of its most fruitful periods, treating his pupils strictly but fairly, with patience, honesty, and understanding. He had many admirers among friends and enemies alike, and was looked upon as a father by many of his apprentices, the great Altair, even Lahad, most notably. Considering all of this, Al Mualim should have attained the legendary stature were it not for his rapid decline into corruption around 1191. After he got his hands on the first civilization artifact, the Apple of Eden, he was no better than the Templars and eventually succumbed to their way of thinking. Within months of acquiring it, he abandoned the creed and began blathering on about peace and order being achievable only through coercion and manipulation and all that. Cynical, obviously, but appealing too. That's the trouble with the Templars in general, I think. The philosophy is just so damn simple, so tantalizing, offering easy solutions to complex problems. Just do X, Y, and Z and all your problems disappear. That's what the apple was for Al Mualim. An easy solution to all the chaos he saw in the world. Solomon's Temple. The artifact you were sent to retrieve, but others delivered? Yes. It is a Templar tool. <clears throat> Abbas Sofian, born in 1166, had a rather rough childhood, his father captured by the Saracens in 1176 and tortured to the breaking point. He vanished from his son's life when Abbas was still a boy. Assuming he had been abandoned, Abbas fell into deep depression which only his friendship and devotion to his mentor Al Mualim could ease. But all this changed a few years later when his friend and confidant Al Tahir passed on what Abbas assumed was the cruelest of lies. <coughs> that Abbas's father had betrayed the assassin order while under interrogation and had later killed himself to escape his shame. Infuriated, Abbas refused to believe this hard and varnished truth, a truth al Malim refused to corroborate or deny. So from that point forward, Abbas regarded Altair as a liar and a deceiver, a man too devious and reckless to follow the creed's more austere tenets. As he grew into adulthood, Abbas matured into a skilled and respected assassin, but his personality always left something to be desired. Humorless, with an almost fetishistic passion for the Brotherhood, he loathed both Al Mualim's favoritism as well as Altair's loose interpretation of the creed. But he remained a loyal servant for many years, always hiding his gnashing contempt for his former friend. Staying silent was difficult, however, and over the course of Altair's precipitous rise to the rank of master and later mentor, Abbas found himself filled with a crippling hatred he could barely contain. It was only a matter of time before he burst. The Apple of Eden. It can conjure illusions and control men's minds. A deadly weapon. And you believe Al Mualim fell under its spell? I do. Today he used the Apple to enslave Masyaf. You saw that for yourself. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The Apple is safe in Al Mualim's study. When I'm finished here, I will show you all I know.
You need to set the wood on fire, not the body. Altair! No! I must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. This body could be another one of Al Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims, while belittling and humiliating those around you. Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al Mualim is bewitched. Ah! Ooh. Remain in the eye, yeah. <coughs> Just you please, I will do anything. Just let me go. Ah, sit. All right, you win. No need to kill me! Who is this friend? You think you're doing? Stay away from me! Oh. No need to pressure him! Do not let up! Reason! Just let me go! Please! Hey, you you will life. not get through! You what did I tell you, Altair? Abbas! Stop! What did you think would happen? When you murdered our beloved mentor! You loved al Mulim less than anyone! You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide! My father was a hero! This is not the time to quarrel over the past! We must decide what to do with that weapon! Whatever this artifact is capable of, you are not worthy to wield it! No man is! <sighs> it is... Beautiful, is it not? Yes. Too beautiful. <clears throat> ah! I covered the apple. Avoid falling as you climb, time your moves to avoid the blast. Get up there! Where is it? What was that? Are they dead? F forgive me. I did not know. I tried to tell you. Now what? Have you anything to teach us? Or will you lead us all to ruin? Okay, full sync. Didn't know what synchronization points were, but okay. Something is still weird. Altair. Barely 26, and already a Grandmaster in command of a divided order. How does one cope with such responsibility? And unlimited power? Unknown. Hang on... <clears throat> 
minute. Something is weird. Hang on a minute. Okay. Where's the other memory? Down there. Okay. Hippodrome something a pleasant surprise it's you we should trade stories if I'm not dead by this time tomorrow is there a chance of that we learn that the Byzantines are planning to infiltrate top couple palace now that Prince Suleiman has returned from his Hajj if they do strike it will be tonight at a cultural exposition the Prince has organized so what is our plan Gardeshim this is not your fight. No need to snare yourself in the Ottoman affairs. The Byzantines found a key beneath Topkapa Palace, and I would like to know how. Ezio, we want to protect our Shehezade. Not interrogate him. Trust me, Yusuf. Just tell me where to go. Topkapa's main gate. We plan to dress as entertainers and walk right in. I will find the disguise and meet you there. Should I call my Romani friends? Templars are planning to attack the Ottoman royal family, join Yusuf, protect the Ottomans and gain their trust. Beat Yusuf to Topkapi Palace. <coughs> this will be interesting. <coughs> huh? Ah, damn it. Fine. I'll use the streets. Oh, sorry. I need his life. I have some Peter and some for dust. To clear away those nasty What in God's name possess you to do that? You need myself. I think I'm ahead of them. Is there a reason for this abuse? <laughs> 
The Forum of Constantine, built on the city's second hill to commemorate the glorious ascendance of Constantine the Great to the Roman throne, the Forum of Constantine and the Column of Constantine at its center also symbolize the birth of a new city from the ashes of another. On May 11, 330, the city called Byzantium was no more, and Constantinople, or Constantinopolis, city of Constantine, was christened. Originally crowned by a statue of the god Apollo, the column has weathered many hardships and numerous renovations over the centuries. By the time of the Ottomans, both the column and the original forum had shrunk considerably, both bo but both remain a treasured part of the city's history and character. Knock out some Italian minstrels and take their clothes. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Minstrels from Italia. I am going to enjoy this. Are they being watched? Oh, great. How convenient. This Maggie man, he. Well done. Oh, I need to knock out the rest of them. Okay. Justitia, justitia, in your name comes he this day. Hagia Irene. The second largest Byzantine church in Constantinople, Hagia Irene, or Holy Peace, sits just inside the walls of the Bukhapi Palace on First Hill. Restored from the ruin by Justinian in the 6th century, it served as an Orthodox church for almost 1,000 years. After the Ottoman conquest, the Sultan's Janissaries used the buildings as an armory owing to its close proximity to the new royal palace. Today, however, neither prayers nor guns fill the space with any regularity, his primary use is as a music hall. Don't mind us. <laughs> Don't mind us. Uh, focus. Fo God damn it. Pick up the thing. Point it at the thing. Thank you. This is going to be more dangerous. They're above the walls. They're behind the walls. Yeah. I say we just go back to the wall. Go there. Still a non permissive environment. We got bad guys over there, we got bad guys over there, we got bad guys over there. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I need to follow the wall. Uh, other wall.
Oh, yeah, I can do it like that. At all. If I'll be quick enough, they won't notice me. This hero's luck will hold me play, and when he plays his cards, What do you mean target died? What do you mean target died? What do you mean target died? Using just fists. There's no way to cross over there. do I have? Stink bomb. Full sink right now, right? I did a full sink. Okay, so from here we use a destruction bomb. You are supposed to be out. I look ridiculous. I feel ridiculous. My blade is too conspicuous in this outfit. Are you armed? Messele deal. You mark the targets, and we will take them out. Do you know how to play this? You, uh, know how to play that thing? I learned a few chords when I was young. When were you ever young? <laughs> <laughs> we can play well. No money! Go to the nearest gate and enter to copy central courtyard. We are but humble minstrels. This courtyard is closed to the public. Turn around and start walking. Perdonate, buon signore. We are this evening's entertainment. Any old Gerzek can carry an instrument around. Get lost. 
Venetia's grim doge, a fierce and you evil man. You sound like a dying was cat. Was just a trifle red of face when I upset <laughs> his plan. What is this? Bear Baxter. Fair Lucrezia could not sate her appetite for lovers, but I suspect she would be fine <laughs> what are you with doing? two or three more brothers. Pekala, go in and bother the guests with that noise. The flood of Achilles, when you have a located one, go into position. Nice, nice trick. This is not a thing because I have sight. There once was a man named Duccio, a rat with ledger's taste. Whenever he would show himself, my feast would find his face. <laughs> Proud Romagna's iron lady, a rose of tempered steel, could raise the ardor of a corpse and teach a stone to feel. Yo, yo, welcome, yo, welcome. This courtyard is clear, but I do not see Prince Suleiman. Follow me. <coughs> now this is a celebration. Suleiman, the Sultan's grandson and governor of Kefe. And he's only 17. We met on the ship. He told me he was a student. And who is that? His uncle, Shehezade Ahmed, the Sultan's favorite son. He is grooming himself for the Sultanate as we speak. Sherefe! Salaniza! Come, we have more Byzantines to find. Thank you for coming. A minstrel song soon. I've heard them say brings maidens by the score. But luck deserts me when I play. They hasten to the door. We should speak soon. Vieri, oh Vieri, yes, he of Patsy fame was just as mad as his old man. Hi, you like Shamla. I hope you are enjoying yourself. I'm dressed up like a jester. I act the fool and mime. All the actions of those I curse and run down all the time. <laughs> well, the rest of them. Oh, 
things I do. Such an exotic sound. Surprise me time to time. Like learning how to play the lute and making these words rhyme. I <laughs> like Shamma. I hope you are enjoying yourself. Hey. Stui Kastya, Stui Kastya! Clear the courtyard! Says Ade Suleiman, take cover! Follow them! It's you! Kill the last step, love Get a move on! It is a relief to see you again, mio bel menestrello. Did I say that right? Close enough. Well enough. I hear you are a governor, too. Is there anything you do not do? I do not talk to strangers. I am Suleiman. Ezio Auditore. Shazadem, are you injured? Who is your captain soldier? Tarot Balete. He is away on an errand. Clear this body and send the guests home. Then summon Tariq to the Divan. Bashustanesh, as Adem. Tariq Barlete is a captain in the Janissary Corps, the Sultan's elite soldiery. They guard the Sultan, but not his family. Not very well, evidently. Ezio, do you have some time to spare? I would like your opinion on something. I will, once I change out of these rags. Guzel, meet me when you are ready. Not rags, but not very comfortable. My money back. Full sync. Uh, you go there, I go there. Where am I going? Into the palace. Is it still a non permissive environment? What's my mission? There is no mission. Can I do the viewpoint first? Come on! Bring him down! You can him Whoever brings him down! Just kidding! Now you die! We finished squeezing the... I mean, collecting the taxes. Hurry! I'm losing him! <coughs> What's the viewpoint? There it is. <coughs> Anyone wants to follow me here? Just to be sure. <laughs> ah, shit! Okay, good enough. So why don't they like me here? me taking all the loot. Ooh, nice. Uh, 
I need you to not notice me. Why do I think I know that one? You're a hard man to reach. I have arranged a meeting with my uncle Ahmed and the Janissary captain, Tariq Barlateh. The Janissaries are loyal to my grandfather, but they have lately become angry over his choice of the next Sultan. Your uncle? Exactly. The Janissaries prefer my father, Selim. You are in a tough spot. But how do the Byzantines fit into this? I had hoped you might know. Would you be willing to help me find out? I am tracking them myself. I can help you, as long as our interests run parallel. I will take what I can get. There is a hatch at the top of that tower which leads to a secret room. Go there, wait, and watch. I was just there. Suleiman is investigating the attempt on his life, eavesdrop on his conversation with the genocide captain Tariq Parletti. Do not be detected. Heed my nephew, Tarek. Your incompetence borders on treason. And to think that today your janissaries were outshone by an Italian loop player. Hmm. Preposterous. An inexcusable failing, Effendim. I will conduct a full investigation. Uh -huh. I will conduct the investigation, Tarek. For reasons that should be obvious. Evet, Shezadem. You have your father's wisdom. And his impatience. Uncle, I am relieved to see you safe. Likewise, Suleiman. Allah emanet olam. Oh, a word. What was the purpose of this attack, I wonder? To make me look weak? An ineffective steward of the city? If you are the hand in this mess, Tarek, you have made a grave mistake. My father has chosen me as the next Sultan, not my brother. Ahmed. I am not depraved enough to imagine the conspiracy you accuse me of. What have I done to earn such contempt from the Janissaries? What has my brother done for you that I have not? May I speak freely? You'd better. You are weak, Ahmed. Pensive in times of war and restless in times of peace. You lack passion for the traditions of the Ghazi, yet you speak of fraternity in the company of infidels. You make a decent philosopher, Ahmed. But you will be a poor sultan. You may show yourself out. Hmm. Quite a family, hmm. Your uncle lacks sway over the men he will soon command. Tariq is a hard man. Proud and capable, but ambitious. And he admires my father greatly. But he failed to secure this palace against the Byzantine invasion. That alone is worth our attention. Precisely. Where should we begin? For now, keep an eye on Tariq and his Janissaries. They spend much of their free time in and around the bazaar. I will start there when I can. After the bazaar, then. Sequence four complete. Achievement unlocked. I have made the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. He is a clever young man with a fortitude uncommon for his age. 
On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries who may be in league with the Templars. With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templars' leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Maziav keys. She is a diligent woman, full of passion and vigor, hmm. and I enjoy her company immensely. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here nor of my true vocation. Those who do not volunteer in our struggle should not be forced to fight it. Why aren't you wearing the colors I picked up for you? New items in bookshops. Well, let's take a look at the bookshop, shall we? I have salt mass and garlic poultices for fighting Holocaust. Shunlara bakın, daha iyi. Madness lurks everywhere. Excuse for such a reckless move. More will surely follow if you, good people, do not aid your family. Too many have died as heretic assassin girls. Please stop! You, good people, do not aid your valiant stewards of Byzantium in unearthed... Oh, that's not good. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, yes. Yes. What do you have? Books. I don't feel like buying books. You don't have any new pleasure maps, so I don't care. Let's go to the bank. Excellent. Hmm, Malmuk metal bracers. No resistance. Mamluk. Mamluk metal greaves. No health. No resistance. Weapons. No, 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 no. A butcher's knife, really? Are we using a butcher's knife now? It's ridiculous. I'm not gonna use that. No way. memory first <coughs> well that's certainly audacious what on earth stop yelling see those thieves they fled sorry That bookstore, not that bookstore. Salute! I am closing in on two more books. One near Topkapa and the other in the Bayezid district. Bayezid first. Topkapa will be a dead end. Ah, see. Si. What do you make of this? Oh, Ezio. Incredibile. Early Coptic bindings, still in good shape. Amazing. 
This must be a third century transcription of the original. Sophia, what happened here? Oh, that happens once or twice a year. People break in thinking they will find money. I do not keep much here, but this time they made off with a portrait of some value. It is a shame. You keep working. I will find your painting. Ezio, the thief could be anywhere by now. If the thief came for money, but took a painting, he should be close by, eager to get rid of it. Well, if you happen to find it within the next few hours, meet me by the aqueduct. I will be running errands. Portrait of a lady. Someone has broken into Sophia's shop and stolen a painting of a considerable value. While she walks, recover the painting. Steal the painting without the merchant spotting you. Did the sun just move? Really? Next you will expect praise for your barbarity. Where is it, Ladro? Confess! I have done nothing. You cannot prove a damn thing. I do not need to. I will just keep hitting you until you talk. I found that painting. I mean, someone gave it to me. Get your story straight before you lie to my face. I do not care how you got the painting. Just tell me where it is. I sold it to a, a merchant in the bazaar. How else will I feed myself? Next time, find a nicer way to be a canalia. Find a merchant. So, we said... Steal the painting without the merchant spotting me. I'm guessing I just need to talk to him at the moment. I have a painting for sale, if you are curious. A luminous portrait. You see how lifelike she looks? Her beauty shines through. I'm out of bombs. No, I'm not out of bombs. What if I do this? That's a stink bomb, that's a thunder bomb. Hmm. Okay, to take the painting without him noticing, I need thieves. First of all, I'll revive the doctors. <laughs> then I'll buy the bazaar. I will not buy the bazaar just now. Yeah, thieves. I need thieves. Oh, 
<laughs> what do the thieves want? Use thieves on guard, sprint uninterrupted for 300 meters. A former hook and run. So, to perform a hook and run, we need to Hmm. I need thieves, guys. <laughs> okay, here are some thieves. You, come with me. Ah, uh, ow, that hurt. Fine, just follow me the regular way. What? <laughs> okay, again. Come with me. That was not meant for you. Okay, come with me. <coughs> Ow. Okay, just find a way. Are you following? Good. Stop it! What is wrong? The assassins' cowardly ways. You must shut up. You must shut up. <laughs> yes, very nice. See that guy? Can't you just? I don't know. Blow him away. Never mind. I need bomb making materials. How about I just try the stink bomb? See how he likes it. No, you're not moving. 
Oh money. Deal. Lead the way. Okay, I guess that works. <laughs> 